we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, April 25th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I know that we're creeping up on the heart of spring, but I need you to take a look at your screen and listen up because we might all need to start doing some prepping for an early winter. After months of essentially going radio silent, all of a sudden we're starting to see a flurry of content Coming from your reigning and defending two-time Mr. Olympia champ, Big Rammy. And in case you haven't noticed, the champ is in full go mode right now. For all intents and purposes, Rammy is bodybuilding's version of a Category 5 storm. And it looks like he's starting to build up speed. And when he touches down later this year, if people aren't ready, they might end up getting swept up before they even realize what hit them. What happens when the unstoppable force meets the immovable object? That's one of those old philosophical questions that I don't think I've ever heard anyone give a clear answer for. So I'm going to rephrase it like this. What happens when an unstoppable force of Nick Walker finally runs head into an immovable object that we know is Big Rammy? Because in a lot of people's circles, that's the million dollar question that people are asking now. We just talked about the updates we saw from Rammy in the last segment, but anyone who's watched Nick's progress knows that the growth we've seen from him is in uncharted territory because it's hard to remember an athlete in recent memory whose career has progressed like this in such a short period of time. And that means for right now, Nick is the unstoppable force, and before this year is done, we'll find out what happens when he collides headfirst with the Open Division's most immovable object. Do you remember when you were a kid, when someone would tease you, and eventually you'd end up saying something stupid like, it takes one to know one? Well, even if for some weird reason you don't because you were never teased as a kid, well, it honestly doesn't matter. That was just my way of keeping your attention while we show you these ridiculous photos that Ronald Gordon's camp has been floating out there. I don't know what he's doing or if he's back out there in Dubai training with the camel crew again like he did a few years ago, but I do know that whatever he's doing is working and that makes him one of the most dangerous dark horse candidates that we have in bodybuilding right now. So if people aren't on their P's and Q's, they'll have a whole lot more to worry about than someone's hurting their feelings because if Ronald shows up firing on all cylinders, he might end up hurting their pockets too if he walks away with the big check and an Olympia qualification while everyone else ends up high and dry. And since we're already talking about dark horse candidates, I figured that we might as well go ahead and transition to this segment about everyone's favorite dark horse, Quinton Aria. A few days ago, Quinton had everyone on their heels as he released his newest physique update, where we saw him showcase the best combination of size and conditioning that we've seen from him throughout his entire off-season process. Up to this point, I don't think we've heard any official word about a plan for his season debut. And based on what we saw in the pictures, it seems like he's still pushing the envelope in terms of wanting to put on more size before jumping into a prep. But once he starts chipping away at this, if he's even 90% as good as some people think he will be, he's going to hurt some serious feelings because that'll be a look that people have a hard time keeping up with. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.